everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the ASUS P9X79 Pro motherboard. This is built for the second generation Core i7 processors, which have the extreme denotation. It is a socket 2011, and this board has some nice innovations on it to actually add to the I guess the enthusiast class of the X79 platform. If we take a look at the box, you can see it's black. It has the ASUS name on it, the P9, and the denomination X79 Pro motherboard. There's a few things that ASUS has added to this, which make this board a little bit different than maybe their competitors. They are using a Digi Plus VRM or as they like to call it, Dual Intelligent Processor 3. Basically you get digital power control for the CPU and RAM. As well as that, we have precise power control. ASUS also offers an SRT caching system which is not included on this board like the Z68 chipset. So the X79 chipset does not have the SRT caching so you could use a spindle drive and an SSD drive to actually boost your performance of your hard drive. ASUS has a software package which will give you the opportunity to do that and it's going to be a lot easier since you will not have to go into your BIOS and actually set up your RAID in order for it to work. Of course it has UEFI BIOS this also has Bluetooth to go, which if you check out our technology section, we do have a video on how that works. And of course, eight DIMM slots for quad channel DDR3 RAM. It is SLI capable and Crossfire capable. As I said, it is LGA 2011, which is the socket. It supports the Core i7 Extreme processors, and it is the X79 Intel chipset. If we turn it to the back of the box, we could take a look at some of the features that ASUS has to offer, of course, the SSD caching, the Digi Plus power control, UEFI BIOS, Bluetooth to go. One thing about this board also is that it is U, it is PCIe 3.0 ready, which when the new uh, generation of video cards comes out, it will be ready for that and it's probably going to be with a BIOS flash. If we open the box up, as you can see, it has a clear plastic panel which you can plainly view the motherboard on. If we take that down and look at the front panel here, of course it goes through a little bit of, the, of uh, what is on the back, but it also does show that it has USB 3.0 boost and they went to a DTS Ultra PC2 sound system on this line of motherboards. So opening the box, of course, we're going to go ahead first and pull out the accessories. We'll take a look at those first and then I'll go over the motherboard because the motherboard is going to be a little bit different than what you might be used to based on the socket itself. Of course, you're going to have an I.O. plate, SLI bridge, and one of my favorites, these are actually connectors for your uh, front panel of your case to put in your motherboard so you don't have to worry about getting a magnifying glass out and actually uh, plugging in your, your, case, your case connectors, your power and reset, etc. So you just plug that down, plug them into there, take that, plug that down onto your motherboard and you're fine. We also have six SATA connectors. And a Tri-SLI bridge. And of course, our user's guide. And our driver disc. Now this is kind of important here. You might be used to LGA sockets, 
The LGA 2011 socket is a little bit different on how you would go ahead and open it, place your processor, and actually close it. It's a two-step system. I will go into that two-step system once we start showing you the motherboard. So here are the actual instructions for it, but we're going to go ahead and actually show you how to do that. And of course, in this uh, manual, it shows about how to use the SSD caching BIOS flashback, which is great. You actually don't even need to have your board all set up. Basically, have some power to it. Put in a put in a US a USB key with uh, with your BIOS on it, and hit the BIOS button on the back of the motherboard, and it'll flash your BIOS for you. Okay. So moving along, let's go ahead and take a look at the motherboard itself. Of course you can see that it did come packaged in an anti-static bag, and we'll go ahead and take that out of the anti-static bag. And let's take a good look at the motherboard itself. Okay. Now, of course, it looks like a normal motherboard, but the first thing you're going to notice is that there are eight DIMM slots. This will support up to 64 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. So, that's a lot of memory, and we're not used to going that high, but I want to say something. I've been checking out memory prices, and I can tell you that quad-channel memory is fairly inexpensive. So you might want to go ahead and maybe even put 32 in here because 32 gigabytes of memory might only cost you about 200 to 250 dollars, and you will get a decent boost in performance based on that. Of course, it's quad channel too, which is uh, new for the X79 setup. Now, if we take a look at the socket itself, you will see that it's a lot larger than it normally has been, or what you might be used to seeing. Now. It is very, very important that you open this in a specified way. And Intel is stating that what you need to do is, now you have some denominations here. So what you need to do first is take down number one, open number two, and then open the socket. Now, once you open the socket, you can go ahead and place your processor in that socket. Intel is stating not to take off the protective coat, protective cover, until you put the socket in and you go ahead and close it. Once you close that socket, reverse your process to close your socket and this will actually pop off, so then you're set. That's very important with that. You don't want to touch the brushes. You don't want to ruin any of the brushes in the socket, nor do you want to touch the back of the processor where the LGA is. Now let's just take a quick look at the board. As you can see, we have some very nice heat sink setups here. You've got your south bridge, PCH, going up to the side where your uh, where your MOSFET is, and of course your PWM or VRM, which is up on the top. This is all connected via heat pipes. So, except for these two are connected on the bottom, of course the two on top are connected via heat pipes. When we go across the board, we will see that we do have a lot of fan connectors on this board. This board gives you up to seven fan connectors. So if you need to cool off your system, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes, you're going to have the availability to hook up a lot of fans to these headers. Of course, it has the normal stuff that we're used to seeing with an ASUS motherboard. We have our 24-pin power connector, of course, our Bluetooth for a front panel, if you choose to use that. We do have two SATA 6, G, 4, SATA 3G, and right here, this is actually for the ASUS, which is up on the side here. If we look at the uh, connectors, this is actually for the ASUS SSD caching. 
So you would actually connect to these two if you were using the SSD cache. When we come down on the bottom here, of course we have our all our connectors for our case to connect. And of course this down here is your TPU switch, which will give you uh, an instant overclock just by switching that. Over here on this side is an EPU switch, which will actually give, put you into a power saving mode. A power button, a reset button, of course a debug. Then we have two PCI E times one slots, one, two, three, four PCIe slots for your video cards. This will run Quad SLI. If we come over to the top of the board, we have another fan header. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the IOs. Of course, this is for your sound. This right here is your Bluetooth to go. We do have USB connections 3.0, 2.0, and this is also an Intel gigabyte LAN, gigabit LAN. Now, with the gigabit LAN, it has its own controller in it, so you're not uh, using a PCIe LAN in order to use your LAN. Now, this specific board has 40 PCIe LANs. You're going to get a tremendous amount of bandwidth out of this, this system here, out of this platform. Now, if you remember, I talked about that BIOS, the Easy Flash BIOS. Well, the Easy Easy BIOS. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to place your key into a specified port. Once that's in there, and you, all you need is a 24-pin connection and your 8-pin connection in there. Plug that in there. Make sure that there's power to the board. No need for RAM. No need for anything else. Go ahead and push that button, and it will flash your BIOS for you. So if you're changing something quickly, or maybe you change processors in the future, and I don't know if it's happened to you in the past, but when they go to another type of processor, maybe like a 28 nanometer, 22 nanometer, or something like that from what they're using now, you're going to have to have another chip in order to flash the BIOS. This will allow you to do it without having to actually do that. So you do have a lot of options here. You have your uh, optical out, of course. You have a lot of USB ports here, so if you're using a lot of peripherals, you have, have room for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 8-pin power connector, of course, and the back of the board. It does have a very big back plate. This board is a lot heavier than a lot of boards that I, I'm used to holding. so. It is made to withstand and be durable. Now, of course, if you're familiar with ASUS, you do have your memory memo K buttons and your reset buttons on this, so you can uh, reset your your BIOS. And one thing that I like to do with the memo K is when I overclock a lot of times, and that's down here. When I overclock a lot of times, I might get an unstable overclock and what does that lead to? That leads to actually going ahead and resetting the BIOS and going through the whole thing. With the Memo K, it will do that for you, but it will keep your settings and it'll reset. It'll just reset back to stock settings for your CPU and your memory, but you'll be able to get in there and keep the settings that you had so you can work down from there. Well, everyone, this has been a quick look at the ASUS P9X79 Pro motherboard. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day. Stay thirsty my friends. Visit www.hitechlegion.com for the full review. Bye bye.